It'll set a timer and we'll fly around the Martian atmosphere and the Martian sky and we'll do everything. Then we have to just hover around and make sure we are able to land on there. If we're not able to land on it by the, ti by the time the timer is set to zero, then it's a mission over. Or else if we do, then it's mission successful, okay? So now let's get started with actually creating the app, the game. First, we'll go to scratch, to scratch, and it'll come up, scratch.mit.edu. Then, if you don't already have an account, then you can sign in. I've already signed in and logged into my account, so that's why it's here. Then we're gonna go to create, and then it's gonna be, it's gonna turn up like this. Then we're gonna go to the backdrop and we're gonna go to upload. Now you can download this from Google and you can get a picture of the Martian land or the Martian atmosphere. Then you're gonna have to go to the choose a sprite and go to upload sprite. And as the same, you can also download the helicopters, this helicopter right there. It's called Ingenuity, as I said. And because NASA hasn't found out existing life on Mars, we're just gonna take away this sprite one. Okay? And now what we're gonna do is, this is basically it. Now we can get started on the actual coding. First of all, we're gonna go to events. Then, when the green flag is kicked, basically when this is clicked, then we're gonna have to go to the control where it says forever, right here, this forever block. Then grab the if then block, and then we're gonna go to sensing and say that when the key space pressed. Now we're not gonna do the key space, so we're gonna put the up arrow, right? So it's gonna go up, down, left, and right. Then, what we're going to do, go here and set X to. Now up means, up or down means you're gonna have to change the Y, right? So ch uh, change Y by, change Y by 10, because if you wanna go up, then 10. Then you're gonna have to repeat these for the down, right, and left. I'll show, I'll do it do that with you. So when green clicked, when the green flag is clicked, then go to the control and do forever. And then same way, you're gonna have to do the if then block. Go to sensing, key, when the key space is pressed and put that inside right here. Instead of the space, let's put the, right, uh, the down arrow because we just did the up arrow, so down arrow. Then we're gonna have to go to the motion again and we're gonna do change Y by. Now if we do 10, it's gonna go up, which is why we put minus 10. If you put a minus, that means it's gonna go down. And so we did the up and down. Now we're gonna do the blocks, the coding for the left and right. So again, events, when the green flag is clicked, then go to forever and then if then, inside this forever so that it works correctly. And then you're gonna have to go to sensing when the key space is pressed and then put the right arrow. If you wanna do the left arrow first, then sure. But then the left arrow, you're gonna have to put something different. So that's why I say go with the right arrow first. When the right arrow is pressed, then go to motion. And the if you wanna do right or left, now that has to do with the X. Up and down, as I said before, has to do with the Y. So cha uh, change the X by 10, okay? And then, so it's gonna go right. Then when we have to do left, we're just gonna do the exact same thing, right? And instead of changing it by 10 for the X, we're just gonna have to do something different here. Forever, if then, and then go to the sensing, uh, key space pressed, then change this to the left arrow. Now, as I was saying, you're gonna have to put the minus 10. So we go here, change X by, not 10, but minus 10. So if you already check now, then it's gonna go left, right, up and down. See, it's working, right? Proper, it's working properly at least. Then if we wanted to start right here all the time, then we're going to have to go to the events then when the mm, green flag is clicked, and then we're going to have to go to the uh, change, so the, mo sorry, the motion. And then we're going to say that, uh, here, go to X this one and Y this one. 
right? So you can grab the X and Y from here. This is X is minus 188. Yep, and minus 56, minus 56. So it's already there for me because I'm exactly on that spot, right? And now I'm going to go to our backdrop. So if I click on that, it's gonna take me here. Then you're gonna have to go to the backdrop right here next to the code. And then you're going to have to put a, a, a purple pot spot right here because it's gonna be already purple. Then you can change the size based on where you are landing. And make sure it's not anywhere rocky because if the helicopter lands on a rocky part, it might get its instruments damaged, right? Then we're gonna put outlined, not filled in. And purple doesn't, I don't think purple looks really good right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color. It's gonna say fill and you can uh, actually change the colors. Uh, that, that's the landing spot. And I guess that's all white because we don't have to change it anymore. Okay, then you go to code, finally we did it. So go back to your uh, sprite because if you start doing the code in the backdrops, it'll show nothing. If you click on the sprite itself down right here, then all the coding will come back, right? Now what we want to do is we want to go to variables. This part, it has to be, you have to be very careful. Go to variables and do make a variable. Then you don't have to change any of this for all sprites is correct. Just name your variable timer. We're gonna put a timer, okay? Then we're gonna do set my variable before this uh, go to X part. Set my variable to 12 because I want it to count down from 12. Then we're gonna go to control, repeat 10 times. Actually, not 10 times. Why? Because we're gonna put 12 times. We want it to reach to zero. So 12 to zero is actually 12 parts, right? So that's why I repeat 12 times. Then we're going to have to go back to the variable and say that change my variable. So not my variable, timer, both places timer because our variable's name is called timer. So change the timer by minus one and we keep doing this for 12 times. Once it reaches to zero, mm, then what we have to do is go to the sound, the looks, sorry, say the looks, and say hello after this is done. Say hello, no, put this uh, at the first, there we go. Not say hello, we're gonna say game over, and there we go. This is what's gonna say. So what you have to do is go to the control and say, wait one second. Cause if you just put repeat 12 seconds then it's gonna just do it rapidly. So you have to really slow it down. 12, 11, right? And now let's move it. And by the time it's at zero, it's gonna have to do there. When it's at zero, it's gonna be there. So fly around, fly around. Oh, quickly, quickly. Game over, we haven't landed it. But um, you can actually build this game and if you want, add more things into it so that you can make it more complicated and nice for your players. And once it is done, you can give it to your, you can challenge it to your friends and family so that they can give you advice. And what you can also do is don't follow exactly what I did because you can also do many other things, okay? Because the human exploration is still not possible on Mars, I am really hoping that inshallah in the future generation it will be possible and we will be able to go to Mars. Please pray for us. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.